Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to share with you our Quran trip expenses. From flight tickets, tours, food expenses, and where to stay in Quran, and everything you need to know before flying to Quran. Bumili ako ng round trip ticket ko sa Cebu Pacific at 4750 I bought the ticket 2 months before our trip. Isa lang ang airport sa Quran and the Quran airport is called Francisco B. Reyes Airport. It was formerly known as Buswanga Airport. Upon arrival in Quran, kailangan niyo magbayad ng 200 for environmental tourism development fee. From Quran Airport, it will take around more or less 20 minutes papunta sa hotel or sa Quran town proper. So my advice is magbook kayo ng airport to hotel transfer niyo online or sa hotel kung saan kayo magsistay. For us, included na ang transfer sa package namin sa hotel. So you have to ask your hotel kung included ang airport to hotel transfer niyo. If not, you have to pay separately. Most hotels naman offer airport transfer. But, if you have not booked online or through your hotel, don't worry kasi may mga vans naman outside the airport. And it costs 250 pesos per person. Disadvantage lang nito is that you have to wait na mapuno yung van before siya pwede umalis. Unlike if you book online, alis agad siya once nakasakay na lahat ng nakabook. If you're looking for a hotel in Koron, I highly recommend Zuri Resort Koron. Dito kami nag-stay for 4 days and 3 nights. How much did we pay? For two persons, we paid 23,160 pesos. This includes four days, three nights accommodation, daily buffet breakfast, round trip airport transfers, and one full day super ultimate tour with picnic lunch. FYI guys, Zuri has actually been rated 9.5 by Agoda. And if you're interested to see more of this resort, I have uploaded a separate video on my channel. Hey everyone! So, if you're ready na na pumunta dito sa Caron like you have your ticket na and your hotel booking, um, yung mga activities dis dito sa Caron, it's more on snorkeling activities. So, I highly suggest that you bring your own snorkeling gears like aqua shoes here. If you have, kasi, although if you don't have one, um, may pinaparent naman doon sa boat, it's 150 pesos. Pero I really suggest that you bring your own na lang if you have. And then you can bring your fins. Although if you don't have one and then you don't want to buy one, meron namang pinaparent sa boat and it's also 150 pesos. So meron mas maliit dito. Ito it's very, ano lang eh, very long siya. Pero yung mga pinaparent sa boat, mga hanggang dito lang siya. Okay. And yung pinaka-importante that you have is snorkeling. Na snorkeling gear is this one, yung pang snorkel nyo. Yun. So, you can bring this. Uh, suggestion ko din is bumili na kayo or sana meron na kayo and then you have to bring one. Pero if you don't have one, um, meron naman sa boat then It's also 150 pesos for snorkeling for this gear. Pero, uh, I don't know, but uh, suggestion ko talaga you bring your own kasi syempre yung mga pinaparent, gamit na ng iba. Although, sinasanitize naman nila. Pero suggestion ko pa din to bring your own. Okay? So, may naman, I bought this one. Ito. Sa Decathlon. So, ito yung sa akin. Um, pinili ko sa Decathlon. Ang nagustuhan ko kasi dito, I don't need to breathe through, mouth, through my mouth. Ito yung usual eh. This one. Yan. So, this one, it's very easy to use. I can read through my, my nose. Yan. Yeah. So, very comfortable yung snorkeling experience ko with this. Now for the tours, we have the Super Ultimate Tour. This includes tour at Barracuda Lake, Kayangan Lake, Twin Lagoon, Coral Garden, and Beach 91. It also includes light snacks. 
So we had banana key for the snack. Tapos included din ang buffet lunch. Yung tour na to included na sa hotel package namin. But if we have booked only the hotel rooms with no tours, the Super Ultimate Tour costs 1850 per person. The tour starts at 8 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. Other than that guys, you have the option to rent a kayak to be able to maximize yung tour nyo. Pag hindi kayo nag-rent, hindi niyo mapupuntahan yung Twin Lagoon. The kayak is not included sa tour package kasi optional lang siya. For the kayak rental, it's 1,500 pesos. Yung pangalawang tour na inavail naman is the Ritz and Rec Tour. The tour includes visiting the Lusong Gunboat, Sangat Shipwreck, Lusong Coral Garden, and Pass Island. It also includes buffet, picnic lunch, and light snack. We paid 1,600 pesos per person for this tour. Other tours that you might be interested to book are the Coron Town Tour, which is 750 pesos per person, Island Escapade Tour, that's 1,700 per person, and yung Kalawit Safari Tour, that's 2,500 per person. For the food naman, syempre depende na kung saan kayo kakain, but let me share with you guys our food expenses and saan kami kumain in Coron. During our first day, we just had staycation at our hotel, so dito na kami kumain for lunch, which costs around 1,200 pesos, that's for two persons na, and our dinner, we just had drinks, tsaka pizza, and it costs 1,100 pesos. For the next days, we had free buffet breakfast naman from our hotel, tapos buffet lunch from our tours, so sa dinner na lang kami gumastos for food. So, if you're looking for restaurants or where to eat in Coron, I suggest you try these two restaurants. For the first restaurant, try nyo yung Hermanos. Sobrang sarap ng food dito. For two persons now, we spent 1,345 pesos. Next, if you're looking for seafood naman, try nyo yung Kawayanan Grill Station. Masarap din dito. For two persons then we spent 1,200 pesos. For dessert, guys, I really, really recommend na try nyo yung follow your taste. Yung price nila starts at 120 pesos. If pupunta kayo sa Coron Town proper from your hotel, you can take a tricycle. And nasa 20 pesos per person ng pamasahe. I think depende saan kayo manggagaling. Kami... Galing kami sa Zuri Resort, which is just around 10 minutes away from the town proper. That's it for today, guys, and thanks for watching!